uh, given the fact that we have really a disappointing loss to Purdue at home on Sunday. That uh, we were, uh, and it, it was the one that I think knocked us all back a little bit because we had been so good at home, and I was worried today about confidence. And uh, that's all we tried to preach the last couple of days is faith, confidence, swagger. And uh, we really played with a lot of that today. It was a big difference. Uh, Tim Hardaway and Trey Burke were, were sensational. Uh, and really, Tim, who was really practiced so hard to be such a good player and a good teammate, was uh, really, when, when they made a great run in the second half and it looked like it could go the other way, uh, Tim really stepped up. Uh, like he did last year so many times and like he's done several times this year. Questions for Coach, please. John, did you see some of that coming from Tim at some point? You know what, the, the best thing that happened, you know, one, th one tough thing that happens for us is that we have a, uh, our, our Christmas break is very short and we're right in classes, but having a winter break right now, Tim has used every bit of it. He's been in the gym like crazy. Uh, the gun, he's, he made 82 out of 100 on the gun the other day. Um, just looking at his shot, we watching the videotape, seeing any different type of quirks that maybe he could work out. He's such a student of the game, so he's really worked at it. And uh, it just probably needed to, to do the four for four or two in a row, and then it was it be all fixed. I have a lot of questions about him throughout the season when he slumped and you guys stuck, stuck by him. Obviously. What does that say about him to continue? Well, on? yeah, he's, he's just uh, a special young man that really uh, is, is growing every day and not being so hard on himself. But even yes, you know, in the Purdue game, his first three shots or first two or three shots went in and out. And those don't concern me at all. It means you're right there. Early in the season, he was way off. And he's just been, he's really as uh, uh, is, is, is upset as everyone would be probably get at somebody who is, you know, beats himself up sometimes. We don't. We just try to just say, Tim, this, it's okay. Just move on. You're going to be fine. And, he, and he's, he works at it. He really works at it. But he cares. His care level is so high that um, it could be a negative. And uh, today, his confidence was very high. How different can the team be when his shot is out? Well, when he just plays, he had 11 rebounds. It wasn't just about the shot. He defended well. He had 11 rebounds. Um, it's really, it was a, a key force last year, certainly. So, but does he carry the team? No, but it certainly enhances our ability to win against very good teams like we saw today. You guys keep pace in the league as well, and uh, it's probably hard not to look too far ahead, but you know, Sundays, you got yeah, Sunday. There's a, there's a couple things going on, and I think in my mind, we're 4-4 four four in the, on, on the road in the league. It would be, it would be in, the, in the year that the league is really so, so solid, and home teams have been so good. You know, that's a goal to finish five and four on the road in the league. That would be a great accomplishment, you know, given the fact that we were able to hold the court most of the time at home. But, uh, you know, we won't think much more about that other than just let's, we got to take care of our business uh, at Penn State on Sunday and worry about what the rest of them do. The history here, you played that up a little bit this week, huh? Yeah, we'll just, uh, to, we, I think we, uh, we always, uh, my assistants do a great job of finding that. But, I mean, I, I think that's, it's pretty uh, consistent everywhere. There's not, a lot of people that have won, haven't won at a lot of places o over time. And I, Chrysler is one of those places that they, they say we haven't won there in a while. And so it is, it is nice, but I think more, I think we're, we're, we're more proud of the fact that it was another road win and that we were, uh, we stopped, we just have been very successful at not losing two in a row. Did you know about Trace assist record? Uh, they just told me afterwards, yeah, I don't pay much attention to that stuff. I, I just love coaching the kid, and he's done, just done a wonderful job controlling the ball today. I, I, thought it was, I actually thought we'd have more assists than we had today, but we played more, we had to play, they forced us to play more off the bounce, took away a lot of our passing. Can you talk about having to put in Colton more minutes with Evan? Yeah, I mean, there's two things happening. There was foul trouble, and then there was, you know, both of them, uh, I hope they're all right, both of them had little stingers, one to the shoulder and, and one it looks like to his hip. So, uh, you know, they're banging in there with, with Myers Leonard, who is really a strong kid in there, and we were very fortunate that Colton could get in there and give us a little something. Hey, the, the defensive job on Myers, outside of that one spurt that he had, he seemed yeah, he's, to be he, really You know, and they have a good, good plan because they go to the high-low, which is extremely hard to defend with a big guy, and, they, and Bruce does a great job of getting you in situations where there's no help behind you. When we could get help behind him, we could front and sandwich from the backside, but when we couldn't get help, he's, he just turns and puts it in. So he's a great talent, and, and thank goodness we have, you know, all those fouls. We had nine fouls or something, 
maybe even more that we can use on them without getting uh, getting too deep into our bench or our size. Anything else for Coach? All right, thank you. Thanks. Thanks.